Anna said you wanted to see me before I go down. Yes, that is... Uh, thank you, Bates, that will be all. You know I've invited Granny and Isabel to dinner. I didn't, but... Well, the thing is... There is a letter for you from Matthew. What? Where was it? Hidden in a book in the office, and so it was overlooked. They finally got round to packing up his things and brought them here this morning. Who opened it? It wasn't sealed. But you've read it before me? Yes. In fact, I would have sent it to Murray to have it looked into, but your grandmother insisted you should see it first. Granny's read it too. And what do you mean to have it looked into? Read it. Then you'll understand. I don't understand. Did Matthew leave instructions after all? He left a letter. He wrote it before we went to Scotland. Well, where has it been? Concealed in a book. They only dropped it off today. Papa, you read it. My darling Mary, we are off to Dunegal in the morning and I have suddenly realised that I've never made a will or anything like one, which seems pretty feeble for a lawyer, and you being pregnant makes it even more irresponsible. Mm, I'm afraid I have to agree with that. I'll do it properly when I get back and tear this up before you ever see it. But I'll feel easier that I've recorded on paper that I wish you to be my sole heiress. What? I cannot know if our baby is a boy or a girl, but I do know it will be a baby if anything happens to me before I've drawn up a will, and so you must take charge. And now I shall sign this and get off home for dinner with you. What a lovely, lovely thought. Matthew. Now you see why I didn't want to read it. But surely it must be legal. Or do they have to be witnesses? But it was witnessed by two of his clients, which is why no one in the office knew it existed. Then it's settled. Nothing is settled. This is why I wanted Murray to check it first. Whatever Matthew's intentions, it is not a will.